probably uh, from the outside looking in. Um, I think we're uh, looking pretty good right now. Um, I think uh, people would have been surprised that we had a, a more than a 10 win season looking into our soccer program in the beginning after some big losses in personnel last year. So um, we're, uh, we've proven that we can play with the best um, and we're excited about the prospects of, of going in the tournament on Wednesday against Arkansas State. Look at Arkansas State. What makes them a tough opponent for the first round? Well, I think the thing that makes them probably the toughest opponent is there are two things. One is they're a much improved team. Um, they're having the best season they've had in the history of the program. Um, and that brings me to the second part, which is we have to convince our kids to take them seriously. Because, uh, you know, I think all time we're like 12, 12 and 0 against Arkansas State. So. I think it makes it challenging to uh, to motivate our kids and, and make sure that they know that it's a, a very very difficult game for us and that we're going to play good our, some of our best soccer this season to come out with the win. You beat them in the regular season. You got to feel like that. Uh, at least you have the uh, maybe the psychological advantage going into this one. I don't think. Well, I, I think that makes it harder rather than easier. Um, again, I think. Uh, you know, if you look at the over the course of our season, you know, we beat North Texas two nothing, big rivalry. We went to MTSU and tied MTSU, who was who was had a chance to win the league. We tied them one one. But then you look at the at the times that we kind of stubbed our toe. We we stubbed our toe at Louisiana Lafayette one one. We stubbed our toe at home against Troy one one. So it's those games that uh, that we think we're supposed to win that sometimes gives the most difficulty. So I would almost rather have gone, gone into the tournament having lost Arkansas State during the regular season. Just to just to get our you know just to get our players' attention. Um, I think that again that's gonna be the biggest biggest challenge for us is to make sure that we are ready for the for the opening game on Wednesday. Y'all have played some of these tougher teams the last couple of games. Do you like that how the schedule was made that you kinda of got that tournament atmosphere going right there at the end of the season? How well is the competition? Of course, um, you know not only have we played some of the tougher teams at the end of the, uh, the schedule, but we've also been fortunate that we've had one game weekends, which has allowed players like Amanda Bouchel, who's in her sixth year, um, to have some extra recovery time going into the tournament. Amanda, with it being your final year, what does it mean to, to go out on a high note and get this thing right? Well, I mean, I started in mobile, so um, to end there with a championship would ultimately be the best thing. So. Um, I, it's going to be a tough, a tough journey. It always is. Every time you go to a conference tournament, it doesn't matter who you're playing because everyone is out to win a championship. So I mean, you might have seen a, a different Arkansas State team than you'll see in the tournament because everyone just shows a different side of side of themselves in the tournament. We do have our secret weapon here, Amanda Bouchelle. Every year that she's played, she's been a part of some kind of a championship or championship game. You know, in 2007, we won the conference champion regular season championship. She played, and then uh, the other her other two years playing, we've been in the championship game. So she's uh, she's our good luck charm in some ways.